They say that we wear 20% of our clothes 80% of the time. So then the question follows, why do we hold on to the clothes that we don't wear? On top of that, why do we keep buying more clothes when we hardly ever wear the ones that we already have? I don't know if there'll ever be a clear answer to this question, but I know that there are ways that we can attempt to stop the cycle and reset our habits. Over the years, I've experimented with different capsule wardrobe ideas. I've gotten rid of more than half of my clothes. I tried doing a low buy challenge and recently left out of a suitcase for a couple of months. And now I'm experimenting with a 33 piece capsule wardrobe challenge for the next three months. If you're not familiar with Project 333, it's a minimalist fashion challenge where you dress with only 33 items for three months. The main purpose of this project is to reinforce the idea that we are so much more than our clothes and what we have is so much more than enough. I remember reading this book a long time ago, but recently decided to reread it. And this time it got me thinking, how much of my clothes do I actually wear? How will I feel about my closet at the end of the three months? If you feel overwhelmed with getting dressed in the morning, constantly feel the urge to hunt for new pieces, feel unsatisfied with your purchases, or just want to reset your shopping habit, I really hope that you will do this challenge with me. It might make you truly appreciate the clothes that you already own. Let me walk you through my whole process of choosing my 33 pieces that I'll be wearing for the next three months. First, take everything out of your closet and lay it on your bed. Okay, I know that I should be doing the same, but I decided not to bother with my winter jackets and coats since I won't be using this space for my capsule anyways. But if you don't have a second closet, it's not a problem. You can store your non-chosen pieces and other seasonal items in a box, storage, or in a suitcase. It's really important to create a separation between your capsule and the rest of your clothes because we really want to feel the benefits of freeing up more space. I went through every single drawer and put everything on my bed. So this is everything except for my winter stuff, swimsuits, undergarments, and socks. Since everything is out, I think it's a good idea to declutter first. It always helps me to keep it simple and make three piles. Yes, no, and maybe. The trick is not to think about it too much and just lead with your instinct. Did you wear it in the last six months? Does it still fit you? Does this piece make you feel good? Does it still align with who you are? I was surprised to find pieces that fit into every single one of these categories. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect and you can always edit later. I actually recommend not getting rid of the pieces right away because the last thing we wanna do is regret our decisions and buy similar pieces a few months later. So it always helps me to put the no pile and the maybe pile in a box somewhere and revisit it in a week or so. Now the fun part begins, choosing our 33 pieces. There are many ways of doing this, but for me, I decided to first choose my favorite pieces from three different categories, tops, bottoms, and dresses. And I tried to create multiple different outfits with them, and this instantly brought up my count to 20. From there, I thought about my day-to-day -day activities. I made sure to have outfits to walk the dogs for day and night, to run my errands, to go out on date nights. The only thing that will be out of the norm is a trip coming up in August, so I made sure to account for that as well. But your life might be more eventful than mine. You might have to think about work outfits, meetings, friend outings, events, and even seasonal changes in the next three months. As a side note, Try not to buy new pieces for this challenge. There is no such thing as a perfect wardrobe, and I think this whole experiment is supposed to make us realize this. 
The whole point is to be grateful and make use of what we already have. As you're going through this experiment, if you really feel like you're missing something, you can switch out the pieces or log it on your wish list and revisit it after three months. In the book, the author Courtney Carver has her list of things that she doesn't count towards the 33 pieces, like wedding ring and loungewear. I added my own twist to these rules. I included my activewear as a part of my 33, because surprisingly, 33 felt like a lot. Maybe I'll regret this later. I'm expecting a pair of replacement shoes, so I'm leaving room for that. Last but not least, I'm doing this challenge for my makeup as well not buying any new items for three months unless I need to replace something. Do you love wearing jewelry? Make an exception for it. Is three months too long for you? Try one month. Is 33 too little? Add however many more pieces. Project 333 is a catchy title, but I think it's more important not to get caught up in these arbitrary rules. I love that the author says, no one is going to come and check on you. You have to do it for yourself. So here is my capsule wardrobe. I have five basic tops, one shirt, two tanks, two crop tops, and one crochet top. For bottoms, I have three shorts, linen, denim, and printed shorts that is also a swim cover-up. I can't wear jeans right now because of the heat, so I chose two long linen pants. When it does get a little bit chilly at night, I have my favorite white linen shirt that I wear over everything and a light sweater. For going out, I usually wear dresses, so I chose three. The floral dress is just so perfect for Hawaii. The hardest thing to choose was my bags. I decided on the rattan bag for when I go filming or to the farmer's market, my woven boho bag for everyday stuff, and my fanny pack for walking the dogs. For accessories, I kept it really simple too. I'll make a follow-up video after the three months and let you guys know how it went. I made this capsule wardrobe in bow for Pinterest, which honestly motivates me even more to complete this challenge. I'll leave it in the description box below so that you can see which items I chose. Also, if you follow me on Instagram at Malama Life, I would love it if you could tag me and show me your capsule wardrobe so we can all get inspired. So, what do you think? Are you in? <laughs>